Hey guys, it's Comic here and welcome to a tutorial video on my channel and since I've added Minecraft and more to my channel I didn't know what to put in for more. That's why I've been doing vlogs and tutorials So yeah, this is the first tutorial video and I'm gonna teach you how to actually use OBS at its best settings on the lowest and slowest PC. So I'm using a laptop because um, I'm at uni so I use a laptop for everything, for gaming, for recording. And uh, it, they seem to be turning out fine, my recordings are pretty high quality, all of them are 720p 60s. So I'll be teaching you how to record Minecraft at the best quality, even on the shittiest of computers or any other game on the shittiest of computers. So before I start this video, if, you, if this helps you out, please leave a like rating, that will be appreciated. And if you have any problems, leave them in the comment section below and I will try to answer them to the best of my capabilities. So yeah, so first jump into settings and you you should know how to like basically add scene. Uh, just put in let's say <clears throat> Minecraft, I already have one which says Minecraft. So I'm going to put Minecraft blah, 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 and okay. Oh, that's going to stop recording but yeah, basically put in that. You click on this, Minecraft DS, DDS, whatever that is, then go into here, then you click that, and then add, and then do game capture, and just choose Minecraft. Minecraft should be open while you do this. So that's step one. Then, go into settings, settings, and general, so nothing to be changed here, enable close over projector, everything is good. Then encoding. Uh, now I use the X264 encoder because there isn't a custom one for AMD. Like there's NVENC for NVIDIA, Quink, uh, QuickSync for Intel, but I use AMD so I use X264. Now have CBR padding disabled, uh, go to quality balance too. This, as you can see here, this will um, increase your, uh, this is usually works for um, streaming. So if you have a good uh, bitrate like mine, I have 10,000 bit, uh, uh, I have about um, 15 MB per second upload you can go to speedtest.net and check it out but I have about 15 MB per second upload so I use it at 10,000 and quality balance at 2 it makes your stream that much more um, viewable and more you know uh, the source like and buffer source uh, now buffer size should be zero use custom buffer size let all of the audio encoding remain the same then go into broadcasting I set this up for uh, Twitch right now because I'm gonna stream in about an hour. But uh, this is gonna be uh, different for you. Just uh, nothing needs to be changed here, and file path is just about right. And then video, uh, choose your video adapter. I have two Intel and AMD. I'm using my AMD one. Then go into monitor or custom. I would suggest choosing custom and putting in 1280 by 720. I'm using the monitor right now because. Um, because I'm recording the monitor itself, but I would usually use 1280 by 720 because uh, it would give you more frames per second in the game as well as it would record more, smooth, uh, more smoothly in OBS. Then set FPS to 60 or 30 and no need to change all of this. Disable arrow, that's all good. Um, uh, no. Okay, and then desktop audio device. Uh, so a default, which are your headphones or speakers or whatever. And then microphone, I have my blue snowball connected, so that is that one. Then none of this needs to be changed, then hotkeys, no, nothing needs to be changed unless you want to set start recording to F9 and stop recording to F10. I used to use fraps, that's why I'm used to that, so I've changed it to that. And, and advanced, this is where it gets a bit tougher. You need to click on use multi-thread optimizations if you have more than one core. If you don't have more than one core, this option might be blacked out or will not be available or useful. I have two cores, so I have used multi-thread optimization enabled. Now process priority class should be normal, doesn't need to be more. Scene buffering 700 is enough. Allow other modifiers on hotkeys should be ticked. Doesn't really matter, I use hotkeys, that's why I have it ticked. Sorry, I had to take a breather. And then X264 CPU preset, set it to super fast. Now basically what this does is this sacrifices quality for the amount of CPU power you have. Now if if I choose slower, my PC would crash. PC On slow, PC would crash. Medium, PC would crash. Fast, PC would crash. Faster, what would happen is my PC would uh, record the video, but it would be extremely laggy. Like the video quality would be laggy and my frames in the game would be about 60 while I, I would usually get about 125 while recording. Now very fast would be also laggy but it's still unbearably laggy and my frames wouldn't drop. Now super fast is the one I have it set to. 
uh, yeah, it will give you that warning. And um, so basically, what Superfast does is um, even if you have a very, very bad TPU, it would still be able to run a smooth recording at 60 FPS and your frames won't drop. So, But your quality would be reduced a bit, but that doesn't really matter. You can fix that here by clicking use CFR, custom x264 encoding, encoder settings. You need to click both of these. And then in CRF, you need to put this command, CRF equals 14. Now, the lower this number is, it ranges from anywhere between 0 to 20. The, no, the lower this number is, the better your quality is. So let's say I've put in 14, so it's very close to placebo, but it's not placebo. Zero is exactly placebo, but your si file size would be retardedly big. So I've set it to 14 because I don't, I can't tell the difference. I can set it to 12. I'd suggest you put it anywhere between 10 to 14, so I'm putting it to 12 right now. I usually have it at 14, but that's all good. Then nothing needs to be changed here. Then quick sync encoder, yeah, I'm going to change that up. Now, another thing, if you have a microphone like mine, which can capture a lot of background noise because my P my laptop makes a lot of noise when I have it on hi uh, high performance. So what you can do is you can en enable noise gate right over here and set this like stay quiet for a minute. And do you see that green bar after I stay quiet, it still moves to a certain extent. Look at it. I'm going to go quiet again and it's still going to move. Yeah, so you want to keep the green bar above. So like when I don't talk, it's somewhere over here. So these two bars are above that so that the, uh, when I talk, only the, and only my voice gets recorded. So that's pretty good because that will reduce the voice that comes into your mic and into your recording. That is pretty good. And that's I think that is about it. Yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. It's pretty easy to set up, a pretty basic setup, and OBS is free. So that's what makes it a lot more better. And I've, I've actually used it to record Five Nights at Freddy's, CSGO. I've used it to record Minecraft. And I've used it to record everything on my channel and it works flawlessly. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like rating and subscribe. If you enjoy Minecraft videos, check out my other videos. And uh, yeah, see you.